five nervous habits to avoid in social situations, and how to fix them. Let me start by asking you a few questions. Have you ever kept shaking your leg during a meeting? Or have trouble with fidgeting during a conversation? What about biting your nails? Yes, these are some of the most common nervous habits out there. Unfortunately, when you show obvious signs of nervousness, then you're probably derailing most of your social encounters. That's why it's important to recognize these nervous habits and then take steps to eliminate them. Hi, my name is Joy, and I'm here to teach you a few simple ways to help you overcome your nervous tics. Nervous habits are either caused or aggravated by stress and anxiety. So let's tackle one tick at a time to learn how we can manage this stress and become more confident. One, no more biting. Biting your nails or your lower lip are extremely common habits. Over time, it will become so repetitive and involuntary that you won't even notice doing it. But your nails will look ragged and susceptible to inflammation, and you will have dry, chapped and bleeding lips due to exposure to the mouth's digestive enzymes. Let's curb this bad habit then. But how? Cover your hands with gloves or coat your nails with an unpleasant tasting substance in order to stop you from biting them. Products like Marvala Stop are 100% safe for children and adults of all ages, while making your nails very bitter. Taste can also be an alert sign when it comes to your lips. Try using good quality, flavoured, moisturising lip balm or petroleum jelly. If you can taste the flavour, it's because your tick is showing up. 2. And no more chewing either. Sucking and chewing on pens or pencils is a bad habit that usually comes from childhood, and it can be quite hard to break as an adult. It may seem harmless, but it's very unhygienic. What if you grab someone else's pen? You don't know where that's been. It'll be disgusting for both of you. Always remember that germs quickly spread from hands to mouth. This bad habit harms your teeth and your reputation in the long run. You don't want to be known as the person in the office that you can't let borrow a pen. So why not try buying pens and pencils with ends that are hard to chew? You can also coat the ends with a bit of substance, like mentioned before, cover them with tape or something furry. And only chew food from now on. Keep healthy bite-sized snacks like carrots or celery sticks near you. Yes, eat your takeaway. 3. Don't be so touchy-feely. Another unhygienic nervous habit is face touching or playing with your hair. When people get nervous, they may feel the need to scratch parts of their face. Also, constantly tucking hair behind the ears or twirling hair are very common among women. Those tics only make you seem insecure, uncomfortable, and like you're hiding something. So, before a meeting or presentation, face the mirror and assure yourself that nothing is wrong with your face. You don't need to scratch or touch it, okay? You can also try holding a pen to keep your hands away. Remind yourself that your hands are not clean all of the time. You may be spreading germs from your mouth back to your hands and then onto other people. 4. Let's stop fidgeting, shall we? Tapping your foot, cracking your knuckles or fidgeting with your fingers are all very common nervous habits that arise from your stress. Tapping and fidgeting can be seen as signs of irritation or impatience. You'll look like someone who is unfocused and bored. Besides being annoying to your family, friends and co-workers, your health also suffers. Cracking your knuckles all the time can have long-term effects, like lower grip strength. If you're trying to curb habits like those, try planting both feet firmly on the ground. Check on them occasionally. Hold your palms over your legs or try crossing them. Also, try visualizing your fingers being wrapped with tape or gauze in order to remind yourself not to crack your knuckles or drum your fingers. Finally, avoid wearing a wristwatch or bracelets when going to important meetings, and keep your desk free of items that may tempt you to play with them. All in all, keep your head focused on what you're doing, and your hands as well. 5. Let's talk with confidence. If you keep glancing down or looking away when talking to people, or if you speak way too fast, you'll present yourself as a nervous, rude person with no confidence. And that's totally not you. Remember, people won't understand you when you talk too quickly, neither will they connect with you, because you're not really facing them. Take a deep breath. Let's put these ticks behind you. Instead of looking directly into someone's eyes, look at the top of their cheekbone, nose or lips. The best part is, the impression will be sold by you just looking at their face. They won't be able to tell that you're not looking them in the eyes. Keep your phone away when conversing with someone. 
it'll force you to look up, be present and stay involved with the conversation. Make sure to put some slow down reminders on your notes or cue cards and practice talking slowly by recording yourself and playing it back to you. There are many other nervous habits that can greatly harm your health, such as smoking and grinding your teeth. Regardless of whichever tick you have, keep in mind the damage you might be causing. In the end, you're in control. It's your own body and mind. All in all, watch out and take good care of yourself. Reward yourself as you make progress. You can do this. It's really hard, I know. It may take some time, but eventually you'll feel more comfortable in your own skin, more confident and at ease to face any social situation. Confidence breeds confidence. It's a positive cycle that keeps you in good shape. Remember, there's nothing wrong with seeking professional help if you need it. You deserve a healthier, less anxious life. So what are your nervous habits? How do you deal with stress? Give those tips a try and let us know in the comments down below how it worked out. For more resources and ways to overcome other nervous tics, make sure to check out the full article on our website. You can find the link in the description box. Our channel is here to help you develop a better life, one habit at a time. Do you want to join us in the pursuit of this goal? Then subscribe! Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.